Hey guys, this is Ross with Hamel Bro Studios, and I have uh, run into a bit of an issue with DaVinci Resolve 14 Beta 2, and uh, I think I've come up with a workaround for it, but it has to do with the audio. So uh, let's run through it real quick. So if I bring in a timeline, an XML timeline, let's just bring this in. Automatically, automatically, automatically. I'm just going to call this Audio Trouble. Click OK. OK. And uh, as has been the case for a while, if you bring in an XML, it brings in each stereo track breaks it out into mono tracks and that is uh, to me it's particularly annoying so if I play this back and all this was recorded on the zoom h4n and xy pattern because we had a ton of interviews that we were running through so it was it was the easiest setup for us at the time so we play this you back. can answer that best because she spends a lot of time that's interesting. Says that these are all muted. There we go. <clears throat> uh, assume that it's a bug, because it says they were muted, but they weren't muted. The time in a cradle roll. Yeah, and then uh, that's kind of my my thing. And it makes that a mono track. <clears throat> now the problem that I'm running into is previously in Resolve, all you had to do was right click the track, change track type to stereo or whatever and it would uh, it, it would just play the, the file back in stereo now there's a couple of extra steps and it doesn't work the way it's supposed to straight up and uh, I understand this is a beta so uh, I am um, yeah I'm, I'm not bagging on resolve here because you know betas have bugs but this is a problem when it comes to editing because I don't want to have to edit you know I, I, at first I was going to bus these two channels pan one left pan one right and then bus them through a stereo but then every time I edit something I have to edit both tracks and it's just a pain in the butt so what I have figured out is that if you right click on the clip and I think we can do this on all the clips let me Zoom out, hold Alt, right click, and go to Clip Attributes, set these channels to Stereo, click OK, and then right click, change track type to Stereo. We go into Fairlight, and now we show that there are, there's a left track, and a, or Left audio and right audio, and that's great. Judy can answer that best because she spends a so, lot. But the first thing it does is it unmuted this track, which is highly annoying because uh, I, I don't want to use this track. A lot of time in a cradle roll. Yeah, and then. But uh, listen, it's still kind of coming out of the left favorite. channel only. So it was really easy even to though Amanda the faders in. showed correctly. So, in order to make this work, mute the channel, unmute the channel. Um, I love it. And it works. So let's run through that. One more time, I'll show you up to speed. So let me remove that. Um, shortly thereafter. Okay, so we're back at the mono track. I'm gonna zoom out my timeline all the way, and I, it's not readily available. But if you hold Alt and use the center wheel on your mouse, uh, that is. The keyboard shortcut for zooming in and out. I could never find that. I just happened to stumble across it one day. So hopefully, uh, it's a little nugget for you there. So I'm going to select these, find clip attributes, stereo, okay. Right click my track, change track type to stereo, okay. And it unmutes this track, so I'm going to mute it back. Officially got divorced. That's left only, so I'm going to mute it and unmute it. I was married for 32 years. And it works. So 
I don't understand it, but hopefully um, I'm going to send this to Black Magic, and uh, hopefully I'm not the only person that's having this trouble, but hey, if I'm having it, somebody else is bound to, right? So anyway, I hope that this will help you if you're trying to edit off of an XML in Resolve and you want to try out the new Fairlight features. So um, one other quick note, I did run into an issue where I had multiple timelines that I had to do this on and one of them, uh, actually it may have been a couple of them, but what ended up happening was I had to uh, whenever it would play back, it would slow the audio down probably 500%. And it was, uh, it, you know, really slow. And I couldn't find any way around that except to just delete the timeline and start from scratch, which was also a big pain. But I can't get that to do that right here right now and I, I don't know why it's sort of doing that but I assume it's another bug so anyway but if you're working with XMLs and it's bringing all of your audio in in mono tracks this is how you fix it right now or at least this is how I fix it right now so hopefully that uh, this will work for you and good luck with your editing